Hey guys, this is uh, Todd and Odie again, and I just thought I'd make another front porch video. Some, uh, some I got some positive feedback on the last one, so I decided I'd do another. The uh, thing I wanted to talk about today was being, oh, did you grunt? Being a no smash household. And that's what I tried to do around here. He's not liking the camera today. He, do, he doesn't like cameras. Uh, well, anyway, a no smash household is the philosophy that if you encounter a bug, a spider, a cricket, a grasshopper, or a pest, or something we would consider a pest in your house, that you just don't automatically swat it with a newspaper fly swatter. Now, I'm not an extreme animal rights kind of guy. I'm really not. I, I like to hunt. I, I like to fish. And I do those things. But at the same time, I have friends who are into bugs and insects and spiders, N know a lot of scientific facts about them. And I myself am into reptiles, like uh, snakes, uh, crocodiles, lizards and turtles and tortoises, and animals that aren't always loved like dogs are, or cats, or horses. So anyway, the whole term no smash household started, I think, in the bug community, or the insect community, to be to be specific, and people keep a plastic cup nearby. So if they get a spider, instead of killing it, they scoop it up with the cup, throw it outside. I started doing this after I realized what I was, you know, what I was doing. Um, I don't like to spray for insects around the house. Um, I don't like putting chemicals in the earth in... I think the earth's got plenty already, but I do like to keep bugs and critters and things that sting and bite out of my house. And around here we have a lot of scorpions, uh, striped bark scorpions to be exact. And they're, sometimes they're a little hard to catch, but I do that. I catch them and I throw them outside. And I, I, I do that so, you know, I don't have to put down poison because I'm not saying this little guy will eat every bug that comes along, but sometimes he'll do that. I've kind of had to train him to leave the toads alone and snakes alone. And he, he does pretty good after a little training, but he, he gets into everything. He runs up on a frog and he'll start sniffing the frog and it'll jump and bounce and hit him in the face and he, he'll freak him out. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. But anyway, you know, explore being a no smash household. I'm not saying you have to do it. I don't want to sound like I'm preaching at you, but you know, every living creature on this earth is here for a reason, has a purpose. It fills a role in an ecological niche. And even the things that we don't like or that we're conditioned to dislike, things like snakes, bats, spiders, uh, scorpions, even the things that are potentially dangerous. Around here, a lot of people don't like coyotes. And we've got a lot of coyotes around here because we kind of live in the country. And that's like his, his ancient cousin. So we got to think about extending sympathy beyond the realm of where, you know, human sympathy normally lies. I just think it's something to think about. It's been a while since we've made one of these, isn't it, buddy? So I just figured I had the time today and the weather was good. 
So I thought we'd talk about, you know, being a no smash household and how I keep like a red solo cup nearby to scoop a spider off the wall, throw it outside. I keep a trash can in the garage. If there's a snake, I use a broom to sweep it into the trash can. And then I just take it back in the woods behind the house and let it go back there. No reason to kill these things. No reason at all. A lot of these things are nature's free pest control. And we need to, we need to let them do their job. That's what they're here for. Gang, thank you for listening to this message. Thank you for stopping by to see Odie. He likes the attention. He sure does. But do me a favor. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button over there, the little red button. Ah, you're sneezing. Allergies are bad here in Oklahoma this time of the year. But think about being a no-smash household. And think about, you know, giving... You know, instead of killing things, instead of swatting flies, I, I know sometimes things are impossible. Sometimes things just happen and that's all you can do. But really, think about, you know, there's a spider. The spider doesn't want anything to do with us. Pitch him outside. You know, we get big centipedes around here. I do the same thing with those. Now, you got to be careful because those can sting you. But... Why spray for these things and put poison in the earth and kill life forms that we need? No smash household. We're out of here.